Well, so we're walking north right now, right? The building that was blown up, the truck was parked in the face, on the north face. So McVeigh apparently, according to the official report, came up Northwest 5th Street here from the west. And he, you know, he came right up. And this road, used to, you can sit, tell, it used to be an incline starting here. And it used to incline up to, up to there where, you know, the other side of the uh, block is where the 901 is, obviously the minute before the blast at 902. And then up here we got 903. And uh, yeah, 168 lives, over 500 injured. And obviously, fifth, you know, Northwest Fifth Street was uh, in an incline here and he parked the truck pretty much where that guy's standing. And that, you can see that's where the majority of the chairs are brought down the whole north face of the building, which, you know, this it was facing this way, the side that had all the damage. So it was faced this way? Yeah. So if we were standing over here, we'd be facing the, the building that had all the damage, like right up there on this side. Oh, oh yeah. All the wreaths and stuff. On. One of the greatest cover-ups by the American government, namely the FBI and ATF in American history. No ATF agents were in the building, and they were the supposed target of McVeigh's wrath from Waco and Ruby Ridge. How come none of the ATF agents were there? Watch the movie A Noble Lie. I'm telling you, Chris Emery does a great job directing it. It's a groundbreaking movie. It's two hours long. It's all about the cover-up. And it basically got Bill Clinton reelected. And I know that sounds crazy, but the year after the bombing in 1995, of course, was the election. Oh, and Dan, as I'm talking about the bombing, I also should note that all the Operation Whitewater papers were right here in the Alfred P. Murrah Federal Building. That's right. That linked Bill Clinton to Mena, Arkansas, in a drug running scam. Quite damning evidence that probably would have somehow got him lost the election to Bob Dole in 96. Bob Dole? Yeah, from Bob Dole from Kansas. Got him reelected, basically. And it was just, I, I firmly believe it was an inside job, dude. A bit more crazy than that. Why would it well, that's because we're not cheap to the mass media. No way McVeigh and Nichols alone could have done this. Yeah, it was a, an info bomb. Ammonium nitrate and fuel oil. Yeah, right. And the whole front of the building got blown off by blast pressure that wouldn't have gone a quarter of the distance of where the building just fell apart, which was, of course, from C4 charging plastic explosives that there's confirmed evidence were planted in the building by the ATF and the Secret Service in the whole areas of the building where their options were located and where all the evidence was located. But this is stuff the media doesn't want to report on. Watch an Oval Eye and you know what I'm talking about. Well, here's a first responder memory. Every moment. Is this all the original? I don't know, it's just been stuff put there over the years. It's all physics, dude. Like I was saying, with the ammonium nitrate fuel oil, if it was that one bomb simply alone, when the media first reported at least two or three bombs of that size or bigger already in the building that didn't go off, and then of course that was all suppressed after. And the official story was just McVeigh and Nichols alone planted a 4,500-pound ammonium nitrate fuel oil bomb. As time goes by without... Yeah. Days of question. No, I'm just completely speechless. <laughs> First of all, on a trip, 
We passed through Luther, Oklahoma, where a whole town was completely devastated by one douchebag. And now we come here to the Oklahoma City Memorial, not more than a half an hour afterwards, just to witness the same exact thing. However, in this case, we have a memorial up here. Yeah, I mean, a memorial to a crime by Janet Reno and Louis Free and the FBI. It's an organized crime, baby. That's how things work. Unbelievable. All right, we gotta hit the road. My turn to drive. You sure about that, buddy? Oh, no doubt. 545 miles to La Quinta in Albuquerque. Oh, jeez. Anish.